Okay, well, that's, that's great. Let's, let's transition now. I think we've kind of talked about surgery. We've talked about neoadjuvant. We've talked about HIPEC. We've talked about all the chemotherapeutic options. But the field is moving, as Ursula tells us. So, and the, the field after uh, paclitaxel is PARP. We live in a PARP world. So we're gonna talk about recurrent ovarian cancer in a bit, but is there an opportunity for frontline PARP maintenance in ovarian cancer? Or is it still a disease for second line? So, so I think currently um, innumerable, that's innumerable, that's a lot, numerous trials are ongoing um, examining this question. Tell, him, tell us about one or two of those. So, so for example, SOLO1. Um, SOLO1 is uh, a trial where patients with known BRCA mutations, either germline or they have uh, tumor somatic BRCA mutations, are being randomized to either Olaparib uh, tablet formations versus placebo. Frontline maintenance. Frontline maintenance. Cool. So completion of chemotherapy, they enter into clinical remission, um, and we'll see. Those results are not back out. Soon. You're not out. Soon, very soon. You roll very fast. And, and that's going to bring up yet another question um, right. for our patients, especially as we're doing more genetic testing um, when patients are receiving their initial chemotherapy. So we're going to have these results by the time that they complete tell, their initial chemotherapy. Tell us about Prima. You know, we're going to have Prima is a, for niraparib, up front, all comers, is actually originally designed to have HRD positive mm -hmm. and, and then was amended to have all comers after or at the time of their approval. So once again, looking only at the maintenance, so once they have a complete or partial response to up front, paclitaxel and carboplatin. If they've had a complete or partial response after six to eight cycles, they're then randomized in two to one fashion to receive niraparib or placebo, double blinded obviously. So solo one BRCA, niraparib, Prima, all comers, both frontline maintenance. Why don't we just give the PARP inhibitor with the chemotherapy? Well, Shannon? we can, okay. but just not just any PARP inhibitor. So the majority of PARP inhibitors, when we try to combine them with chemotherapy, we can't because of overlapping toxicities. We have to reduce doses too much, and we're getting into ineffective doses of the chemotherapy. However, Viliparib is a PARP inhibitor that has been able to sort of play nicely with chemotherapy. Still have to do some dose reduction, but you can get a reasonably biologically active dose in the combination. And so what there's a trial called G G3005, which is completed enrollment, but basically was able to combine standard chemotherapy with viliparib, followed by randomization with a viliparib maintenance. So you get a question of, does viliparib in addition to chemo help you with induction? Does that get you to your response? Does that get you to your maintenance? And then does additional viliparib help you, you know, push out that progression-free survival and potential overall survival? So solo one frontline maintenance BRCA. Mm -hmm. Prima, niraparib, all comers, 3005, maintenance, all comers, but also give the PARP inhibitor with the chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. huh, that's great. Well, maybe we should. How about paclitaxel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not going to work, and it didn't work, and it just hurt <laughs> patients. I, but so, that, let's, so let's emphasize that. So the reason maintenance is a good idea, because we have agents that are tolerable. And paclitaxel has cumulative neuropathy and alopecia and fatigue, bone marrow suppression. So that's why that was a good idea when that's all we had, but it's not all we have. I want to ask you, Matt, why don't we just add PARP inhibitor to BEV? Very good. Way to build on it. Yeah, Payola 1, I think, is a trial that uh, um, just does just that strategy. Yeah. So the mm -hmm. patients get bevacizumab maintenance plus minus a laparib. Cool. You know, building on the experience uh, from the NCI I had with the other uh, VEGF inhibitor, Coupled with a, uh, a PARP, showing very, I think, uh, interesting uh, response rates and survival in both wild-type patients and uh, BRCA-mutated patients. 